Hi Navigator friends, Mrs. Harris here. Today's I Can Statement is, I can create a self-portrait wearing large reflective sunglasses with my summer dream reflecting in the glasses. In the 1800s, children did not get summer break. They went to school 260 days. That doesn't even count the weekends. It wasn't until the wealthy started pulling their children out because they could afford to go on vacations that the legislators decided, hmm, maybe they need a break because their brain is a muscle and it needs to rest. Look there, there's Hamburg Elementary in the 1800s. School's out and summer's on. Now it's time for us to dream. Dream about what we would like to do during our summer vacation. What are some of the fun activities you wanna do? Visit families, go to the beach, go collect rocks, go horseback riding, go bike riding, play with sidewalk chalk, fly a kite. You could even go swimming, you could go camping. All right, we're gonna create a self-portrait of ourselves. The cool part is we're not gonna worry about eyes. Here's a boy and here's a girl. And I'm gonna go over some do's and some don'ts. We're gonna be using long paper again. It is always 10 by 16. Um, and let's start right away here. So when we are starting this, I want you to remember that your head is not a circle. Your head is more of an oval or an egg shape. So it'll be larger up here and it's gonna come down Similar to that, not a great one, but it'll do for demonstration purposes. Girls, your hair does not grow like this out of your head. I know, believe it or not, you would be here forever trying to grow every strand of, draw every strand of hair. Boys, your hair is not like grass on the top of your head. So the way your hair is gonna go, and again, this line, you wouldn't be doing it in black marker, you'd be doing it in pencil so it would go away. But girls, your hair is gonna come a little bit further down, you're gonna have a part, and it's gonna come down. The cool part about you girls is you guys get to get rid of your ear. Boys, you have to have an ear in there. So when you're dividing this up, you have to kind of figure your eye, your nose, your mouth, and go right down the center because we are symmetrical. So your ear is going to be from the top of your eye down to just below your nose. So again, your ear is not like this, friends. It's not this great big huge thing. It's going to be a small shape, kind of like a backwards letter C that kind of connects there. You can also have it come up and come down and give it a little bit more of an earlobe at the bottom too. Again, we're not gonna worry about eyes. This, again, would not, you would not see that line. You can put a few pieces of hair in there to represent your hair, a few lines, but you are not gonna draw it like that. The next thing you're gonna do is add a neck. That is not a neck. Your neck comes right off of your sides of your face and it continues down like this. Your shoulders are not this big. If you feel your shoulders, they go out beyond the edges of your head so your shoulders are going to go off the page like that and then we'd have a close so again this is the no side this is the yes side so i'm going to pull this line back here for my girl hair boys your hair is going to be similar but it's not going to have as much um activity oops sorry as the girls you are going to have it more it's going to come down you might even end up with like a little bit right here in front of your ear. And again, it's your head is not flat. You've got hair on there. So again, let your hair come up over this. This line would not be here because you would do it in pencil. Now, again, boys, you can't have this kind of hair. It's just not going to work. Nothing like this for your ear either. You, if you wanted to put a line in there, that's okay. Um, I want you to next think about your nose. Your nose is not going to be like that. That would be a profile nose. You know, if you did something like this, that would be okay, but not this pointy area. That's an arrow, that's totally an arrow. So what I'm gonna do for the nose here is I'm just gonna pull two lines down. I'm gonna put in two nostrils in, and I'm gonna do these cups around it. So that's what it would look like from the front. Now, here's the best part, the mouth. A lot of times what you guys want to do is you want to draw yourself smiling, which I get. That is not a smile. That's a line. So a lot of you will draw your face in your mouth like this, and you will create this railroad track of teeth. You don't even have that many teeth in your mouth. And then you forget about your lips. And then once you add those, it becomes a little bit crazy. It's not bad, but it's a little bit much. You could do something like that, but what I always tell kids is take the letter M, a cursive letter M, and really flatten it out, 
and then create a line. Some kids even say, Mrs. Harris, it reminds me of a seagull. Yeah, I see seagulls there flying around your head, but don't let your seagulls be big and puffy because then you're gonna end up with these big puffy lips like that. If you wanna do some teeth, just do a few teeth, but again, not a line like that. That is not a mouth. So I'm gonna look at the ones that I've got done here and we are going to create if you're a boy, you're gonna do a boy. If you're a girl, you're gonna do a girl because this is a self-portrait. This is of you. This is not of me, this is of you. And what we're gonna do is we will add color to this with crayon. We'll have a skin tone color. We'll have a shirt on. Notice again, how large my neck is. It's not this little skinny thing. And then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give you guys these sheets of paper and you're gonna cut out some glasses. And you're gonna cut out some glasses. And the different styles of frames that I have, I've got hearts, traditional circles, and kind of like some uh, more pointed ones, but they're large. You're gonna have a bunch of these to go through and you can pick out which ones you want. Um, normally I don't do this. You can, if you feel the need, I'm just gonna move the boy over and work on this one. If you feel the need, you can go over this with a black marker if you feel like you need to. Um, emphasize it a little bit more. But what's gonna happen is after we add color to this, we're gonna cut it out. We're gonna bubble cut it out. And then we're gonna attach it to a piece of paper. Inside our glasses, some are dreaming. It's almost summertime, guys. We're gonna draw what we'd like to do here. Maybe you'll draw yourself at a beach. You could have a lighthouse included. You could have towels. You could have a beach ball. Things that we're gonna know that that's where you're at. Maybe if you wanted to go to the movies, maybe you'll put some popcorn. Come up with great ideas. Maybe you wanna ride your bike, play games. But we're going to attach these on here and that's gonna be our summer dreaming. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, I'll work on mine a little bit and then I'll show it to you in just a sec. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've used marker to decorate my glasses and I've used crayon, I've used colored pencil. Um, I cut some of it out so you could see what I'm talking about, the bubble cut. I'm nowhere near done, but I'm not gonna have time to finish the whole thing. We're gonna attach these. You can put them on crooked, a little bit straight, however you want to. I've gotta finish coloring in my face, but that's what basically it's gonna look like. We're gonna be using colored pencils, markers, and crayons. Have fun with this. This is summer. Think of fun things. This is my lighthouse, and I was doing a sunset, and I just haven't finished. So. Have fun with it.